<laughs> Daffy, where are we headed? I don't know. Wherever you tell me to go. Oh. We're supposed to be going to Miami. We are going to Miami for what race, Martini? I have no idea. Martini, how did you get your name already? Your nickname? Woo! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Steffi came this morning and she goes, No Martine yet? And I thought she said, no martini yet? And I thought to myself, Steffi, I'm not drinking this early in the morning. Not yet. Right, we Linda? Start, we could start early. We could. We could start early. So we're on our way for the 62nd annual Miami to Key Largo race. And we're an all-girl crew. Right? Yeah. Not even a boy in drag. That's you know? right. So you just get oh, I got a lot of volunteers. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, that's right. I heard too. Oh, wig. Oh, we're wig. An all-girl crew? Yeah, when we're hoisting the sail, the main, it's, that's the only hard part. But besides that, we're, I think we're going to have a really good time, so we'll keep everybody posted. Look at this beauty. Now those are some lines. Love sailing. Nice. Yay. We're going to 6.4 knots. 6.4 knots. We made it safe and sound to Bayside, where we were docked for the night to have nice AC and enjoyed a beautiful sunset before, of course, the festivities of the evening began. I found this wonderful fun guy dancing. <laughs> Have fun dancing last night? Yes, ma'am. Just in case, I think that would be smart. We had a great start, but not much ballast. We used what we could. Both Linda and Steffi gave great directions, and I learned a whole lot during this race. Thanks, gals. Hey, my team. What are we doing? Oh, we're chilling. We're wrapped it up. We're wrapped it up. And what have we just accomplished? We just raced. Yes, we did. And we, how many tax did we do? Zero. Absolutely zero tax on a 35 mile race from Key Biscayne to Key Largo. And it was absolutely awesome. Right now we're rafted up at Gilbert's. We're about four deep. And uh, as you can see, we are rafted next to a beautiful Hankley. Absolutely beautiful. But I would say we had a spectacular race. Our perf rating is a 168. Well, it really should be a 190. Um, so I don't think we're gonna rate very well in this race, but we do know that the boat in front of us in Clementine had a 192 rating. So whatever they finished, they were about a minute ahead of us, is where we would be. 
So that's what I'm going to base my ratings on when we get the results. But in the meantime, Martine, oh wait, Martine is not drinking. I am enjoying a nice cocktail with Mount Gay Rum in um, respect to my awesome crew, Steffi and Linda, who are now in their air conditioned uh, apartment, no, hotel room. And we're gonna go take a shower there later and relax. But see, I've got my official t-shirt on and we have raced. This is the uh, Cardstown Bridge behind us, as you can see. And these are all the other boats rafted up. I'll show you behind us. We're at Gilbert's. And these are all other boats that have raced with us today. So, it was a ton of fun. And tomorrow we have a long, long sail home. But till then, we'll be relaxing and having a blast tonight. See ya. We just finished the race and Steffi is going to show us something really, really amazing on the Key Biscayne map, right? Okay, so. So there's one particular spot on this map. Yes. And whenever I'm trying to orient myself on the bay during this race, I look for this one particular island and I don't even remember the name of it, but I remember the shape of it because it's right here. And I'll leave it up to all you ladies in the crowd to tell me what that might be. What look does that like. look like, everyone? <laughs> Looks like yeah, a looks name, like this name, this name, island. Island. name that island. Name this island. Yes. So, and that directs us exactly to where? Well, nothing. It's on our. It's, see, it's this on the is channel, channel markers. Track. It's pointing right it's to pointing our channel right markers. To our channel marker to send us down the track. So thank you for that Steffi story. It helps to You're orient welcome. us. Thank you very much. All right, and where are we? Martin. We're at Gilbert's. Gilbert's. We're at Gilbert's. We just got shattered, and it feels so good. It does. It feels good. It feels good. I was just out in the rain closing all the hatches, and I'm gonna go take my shower and get freshened up. All right. All right. Bye. Hey, ladies. Hi, we are getting wet. We're getting wet on the bay this morning. Right, and that's. Turn around, show that our sails are up and that we're approaching the bridge. Yes, we are. We're at, uh, green 21. 25. 25. Green 25. Green 25. And we're motor sailing home in the rain. And we had a very successful race yesterday. Yay! Yay! We arrived and we had so we much started, fun. We finished, we didn't tear anything, we didn't break anything, we didn't hurt anybody. We didn't hurt anybody. We didn't tack. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't tack. I broke a nail. nail. Oh no, Linda. It's horrible. Never having nails on a sailboat. You should know better. And we've got a long sail home today, but it's gonna be lots of fun and hopefully it doesn't rain on us. Too much. Yeah, um, yeah, no sails. No sails up. So you so. have it right away because he doesn't know our motor's on. <laughs> That's true. That's very true, Steffi. Until he sees any, where's your exhaust on the back? Yeah, on the right side. They won't right see it. Right. It's sheltered. It cleared up just enough for Martini to get some practice at the helm and for us all to dry out for a bit. We even had some time for Steffi to teach me how to tie a bowline without even looking. Thing and I didn't know how to tie a proper bowline because of the whole rabbit method. So Steffi taught me the fail safe tie a bowline method. And I'm gonna do it without looking. Okay, are we ready? I'm gonna do it the other way. Okay? Wrong handed. Wrong handed. Damn, what a pro! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Not looking! Woohoo! Rockstar! Can't mess it up now! The ominous skies got even darker as we approached the Miami skyline. The wind started coming out of the north, so we rolled up the sails and turned on the motor. But my fearless crew remained in good spirits throughout the whole trip. I'm so proud of them. Thanks for coming, gals.
happy? Is it raining? Uh, it's liquid sunshine. Liquid sunshine. So we're trying to make a decision, Linda, on whether we go all the way home through the intercoastal <laughs> or all the way home in a north wind outside of government cut back to Fort Everglades. We have about an hour to decide whether or not we want to do. Yeah, okay, I'll go do that. Well, we decided to go up the inside, but look how much fun we had. We caught up to glory days. We had a lovely uh, repast. Right past. And, what? Uh, What'd you call it? Repast. Repast? What is that, French? It's French, I think. I don't know exactly. For, for dinner. For dinner. We should be on a genou then. You know we should be on a genou. Wine and the cheese for dinner. For dinner. <laughs> Wine and repair for dinner. The last bridge was a fixed bridge, and unfortunately, we're not going to make the next one. So we slowed down to get to it for the next available. Yes, like Hallandale. Yes, half an hour from now. Martine. Hi. Hi. No words of wisdom for the camera, huh? Nothing. That was it. I I almost am, but thank you, weather gods, for smiling yes, on us they most are. of the day. Thank most you, of the day. Gods, yes. And for stopping the rain after you washed our deck for us. Oh, they did. They totally rinsed our decks with fresh water. Uh huh. And I'm drinking wine out of a damn mason jar. Oh, that's what right. Kind of crap is that? Well, that's kind of all I had left on my boat. That didn't need to be cleaned because I was being a little bit lazy. And oh, and this is the one and only third place trophy that I've gotten in our HISC sailing club, Martine, just letting you know. And um, I meant to give it to you, but I'm, I was going to take the mason jar, but you know. Yeah, so I know. So we had some nice uh, salami for dinner and some borsan that is definitely like done, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to lick that last of this. Mm, mm, that's good. Yeah. The best. The best. The best. Borzan. And West Marine is getting the radio back. Mm. Yeah, so I have to take this back because we were wondering why the bridge tenders weren't answering us and Glory Days was nice enough. Carl called us and said, I think your radio got wet, your microphone. And look, see what it says on there? Can you see that? Can you read that? Floating. This is the one that's supposed to be able to get wet and be out and dropped in the water and it can't even take a little rain. That's yeah, cheap. What kind of garbage is that? So I'm taking it back and getting a new one. What do you think about that, Steffi? I like it. Luckily we have a handy backup on board. Because Steffi's the <laughs> best! Steffi brought her iCom. Yep. <laughs> Which is so far still working. So far so good. And we always have the one down in the boat. We always have the ship's radio. Which I have never used. But have you tested it? Um I'm sure it works, yeah. But I have I haven't tested I haven't it in tested. a while. I think I did when I first bought the boat. So, anyways, we're at the end of our journey, our all-girl crew, and I think we said that we want to make this a uh, annual thing. Sure. So, yeah, I have that on video, Life you know, Linda. Sure. <laughs> All right. Over and out. With the sun setting, we were on the home stretch. I want to thank Steffi for encouraging me to join this race and for sharing her vast knowledge. To Linda for teaching me patience and the one song rule. And to Martini for making me laugh and dance white girl style. This was a safe and successful adventure that will hopefully be repeated next year. I am blessed beyond belief to have friends like you.